so we're getting we're getting 12 slabs of those and we're going to cut them um, each into the individual pieces we're going to use one piece as a template and we'll keep on um, cutting those uh mr baron will be in charge of which song table saw table saw and then we'll probably have another adult in charge of the uh this chop saw and we'll do as many as we can and then the next day we'll come back and do the same thing again until all of the pieces are cut and then the assembly day if in case we need uh assembly day will be next week in case we need next week to continue with it all right so that's the plan so who's riding with who Size and then so forth. So, so we're going to start with the we're going to start with the front and back. We're obviously working around uh, power tools, all right? So anybody that's that's uh, operating a power tool, or anybody that's inside the garage, will have ear and eye protection on, right? Uh, anybody take shop class? Okay. Where's the most dangerous place uh, for table saw? The most dangerous place for a table saw is behind the table saw. So this area right here. Try to keep it clear. Obviously, when we're unloading and loading wood, there won't be anything in the saw, but as we're cutting cutting through the saw, we'll stay uh, only uh, at least two helpers, and we'll be feeding it through the saw, and I'll leave two more guys on that side. So we'll feed it through the saw, and the, the part that's between the fence and the saw is the part that we want that we're taking out. So those will come out, and we'll either lead them up here uh, until we have enough of them, and then we're gonna, we'll take them over here, and I'll have one of the adults operate the uh, chop saw, and I'll give him the, the dimensions that we're going to re make repeated cuts. The first sheet of plywood they're going to cut, we're going to, we're going to cut. They're going to cut the first six sheets all exactly the same. So this will be all re repeat, repeat cuts. So we'll try to set it up like an assembly line, and we'll cut all those. Uh, hopefully, we can get all the all the uh, pieces broken down out of the piece of plywood today, and get those all chopped into sections. And we'll have we'll stack the sections on here or on the uh, the. Uh, furniture remover things that are underneath there because uh, some of the some of them are 20 25 uh, pieces so they're going to be like that high after we uh, get them cut in so we want to be able to move those around we don't want those impeding our uh, flow path so we'll do that and then uh, the other things we have to do uh, we have to make patterns and we have to uh, drill different different parts uh, all the plans are up here uh, we'll, we'll have someone that can operate a drill press either later today or tomorrow drilling uh, six holes in the bottom piece and then there's some other other holes and stuff that has to be be, uh, be drilled and then we'll have we have to make a pattern for this this is the front entrance for the box right here and this uh, we have to to we're, we're going to cut the first one out with a uh, saber saw and then we're going to sand it on the on the bench on the uh, drill press drum sander and then we're going to after that this is going to become a pattern and we're going to use a router and we're going to drill a whole, single hole in here with the drill press and we'll use the router to follow this pattern on the piece of plywood that we use for each each hole so we don't have to cut each hole and then sand each hole each every hole after that will be all identical and then these down here are going to be uh, grooves for the uh for the for the owl we got a picture of the owl right there to grip when they come in for when they're flying in to uh, go in the box they'll have uh area here to, to grab hold and we're going those are just uh routed out with a router but we're going to make a pattern for that too so that uh, there's not going to be any measurements in this after we get the adult when when it moves from the adult phase to the uh all scouts phase there's not going to be any measuring everything will be just drill holes and put them together okay so to eliminate any possibility of things going wrong and having me taken back apart 
because we are going to be gluing them together. So <laughs> if we have to take them apart after the glue dries, we have to break them apart, right? So, so that's it. That's an overview of what we're going to do. So we're going to get started with with uh, with this first.